it's funny simply because uh, there's another person whose superhero name is just their name. Uh, Marjorie is going to be our next speaker. Now, when she was little, she was going down a small hill on her bicycle, biffed it, went over the handlebars, knocked out five of her front teeth, including the roots. I know, right? <laughs> So when you see her smiling, recognize that is a $10,000 grill, y'all. <laughs> Plus, after the show, you may see me tackle her and take her down because I want her tights. They're fantastic. Uh, so we're going to learn a little bit more about coffee now. So big round of applause for Marjorie. I bet if your transit agency ran as well as your favorite coffee shop, you'd want to get on a bus. So transit operators need riders. And this is a transit operator's dream. And yes, it was a little dangerous on the right. Parking can be complicated and expensive. That's just one good reason to leave the car at home when taking transit is easier, cheaper, and more convenient. Sharing the road can be distracting. When a bus or train has a dedicated lane, it's not going to get stopped at red lights, it's not going to get stuck in traffic, and it can keep a more predictable schedule. These are centers of high density centers of jobs, employment, uh, that's the same thing, schools, entertainment. These mature systems. Never mind. Let's talk about coffee. More than half of Americans drink, American adults drink coffee every day. Lots of them are putting cream and sugar in it. And they think that coffee makes them feel more like themselves. Our good feelings about coffee are given back to us in many popular movies. The film industry knows that our happy feelings about coffee is a way to connect with audiences. Caffeine stimulates the neurotransmitter dopamine, and dopamine is what gives you that euphoric feeling with your first cup in the morning. It's the same thing that people get from amphetamines, cocaine, and ecstasy. So these cities have the highest percentage of coffee shops, the most people that drink coffee, and the highest personal budget dedicated to coffee. So coffee and transit is not a new idea. In 2013, Starbucks created the Starbucks train. It's a two, with the Swiss National Rail Company. It's a two-story Starbucks experience in the warm browns of coffee and snowy white steamed milk. San Francisco has the Leap Bus. People are paying six bucks to swipe their phone, get on a clean bus, coffee and a snack on their way to work. In 2015, Mr. Nguyen Tron in Hanoi bought an old bus and turned it into a coffee shop on wheels. It's the same formula. Get people where they want to go, coffee and a snack. All right. Um, these cities have the most high-end coffee shops within a one-block radius of a major transit stop. The people on these buses are spending over $20 a week on their cappuccinos. This is the busiest Starbucks in the world at the Shibuya train station in Japan. Many, uh, this billboard location Starbucks has been seen in many movies made in Tokyo, and they only sell tall sized drinks to keep the lines moving faster. So what can the transit industry learn from the retail coffee business? Always serve your best shot consistently deliver the best quality and service. Don't skimp on training and technology. It is said that a serious coffee drinker is gonna walk 10 blocks out of their way to get the right cup of coffee. I think they should just get on your bus. Hand that scone to your mother. Oh, nah! Hand that scone to your customer, like it's a newborn baby being handed to your mother. All right? When I get on your bus, make eye contact, say hello, welcome to my bus. 
Reward loyalty and community spirit. Do you ride the bus a lot? How about a free ride? Did you help somebody get on with a stroller? How about a free ride coupon? The most profitable coffee shops are going to sell you a scone without latte. The public transportation industry needs to promote multiple sales. How about a bottle of water with that bus ticket? So RTD Denver, you are this close to being in the top 10. So I think you should take a tip from my friend and not just on Twitter, Mr. Nguyen Tron in Hanoi. Thank you.